Well, if you're like most people coming in to take the A plus exams and to prepare for them, it's probably your first computer certification exam or one of the first. And so I want to kind of set your mind at ease here about what to expect on these A plus exams. So let's talk about the A plus exam. First of all, to achieve the CompTIA A plus certification, you are required to pass two certification exams. The first one is simply called 220-801. Now you'll hear it referred to by other people as the hardware exam. And some places will even list it as the 220-801 hardware exam. Understand hardware is not an official part of the title according to CompTIA, but this exam does generally cover hardware type questions on the exam. And most people take 801 first. You don't have to, but this is kind of logical for most people. 220-802, just like we talk about 801 being the hardware, a lot of people talk about 802 as the operating system exam. Again, not an official part of the title, but 802 covers mostly operating system settings, configurations, troubleshooting, those sorts of things. Now let's talk about the structure of this exam. Both of these exams are going to have 100 questions, and you'll just move through the questions. They're all multiple choice, very simple. They'll ask a relatively simple question, and you, you know, get A, B, C, and D to choose from. You'll also see some click on the picture or click on the diagram type things. They'll show you a picture and ask you a question, and you click on the particular part they're looking for or whatever. Now, your questions are going to be very practical. They're usually single subject questions. They're not trying to mislead you or misdirect you. They're just simply trying to get the information that they need, which is, do you understand the personal computer? Now, very little history is involved in the questions. You're not going to get a question that has the correct answer, you know, for seven, eight years ago. So they're not going to ask you or expect you to understand how things used to work. And understand this and be very careful with this. Different groups of questions will appear on different exams. Now, CompTIA will change the questions up from time to time that's appearing on the exam. These exams are testing for your understanding of concepts and general PC knowledge. So let me give you a little personal advice here. Stay away from the brain dump sites. Don't talk to friends who just took the A-plus exam last week and try to memorize questions and answers and so forth, because keep in mind, you're going to short yourself really bad. You're going to memorize questions, pass the exam, then you're going out there in the real world. And out there, memorized answers aren't going to help you. You need to understand how that PC works. And so this is going to come back to bite you if you try to shortcut passing these exams. It's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt your employer. It's going to hurt your future job possibilities. And it's going to hurt the person you're trying to help. So fight that temptation. Learn the data. You're going to use it for the rest of your career. Now, how do you prepare for these exams? Well, first of all, refer to CompTIA's certification exam objectives. Now, these are published out on CompTIA.org. And let's jump out and take a look at this. Notice I've gone to CompTIA's homepage here. And if I scroll down just a little bit, notice Get CompTIA Certified. And I can click right here on CompTIA A+. Now, if you don't see this, just click around, find certification, and you can see it. And notice right here, View exam objectives. Now, when I do this, they're going to ask me to provide some basic information. Notice all I have to give them is name, email, and exam objectives, right? Exactly what exam objectives I'm wanting to get. And then I click this and I can download them in PDF format. Now, the reason you want to go out there and do those, I would drop these in the working files folder for you. However, they can change without notice. So, whenever you're looking at this course, go out. Grab the latest exam objectives. Now, notice two things about this list of objectives if you'll read on the very front page of those. You will not see all the topics on this objective list on your exam. So don't even count on that. However, you do need to study them all and be familiar with them. Second, the list of objectives you're looking at does not necessarily represent a complete list of what you could see on your exam. So some of you are thinking, now, wait a minute, dude, you just told me that I need to study all these, but I won't see them all. But there may be some other things that aren't listed here. And that's exactly right. But trust me, if you understand the technologies and functionalities that are listed on that objective sheet, you know more than enough to be very comfortable with an A-plus exam and how to figure out things out there in the real world. So here's what you want to do. 
get hands-on experience with the topics that are listed on that objective sheet. Make sure you understand how and why. Don't make a lot of fuss about just memorizing a whole lot of stuff. I'll tell you some things as we go through here that you need to memorize, but there's not that much. You need to understand how something works and why it works. And as long as you can do that, you're going to be ready to take this exam and pass it without any problems at all. So the exams aren't tough, especially if you're prepared and if you're confident with all the various aspects of the PC. So let's get into the course and get you ready for your first A-plus exam.